All right, this is Jeff at Quadrocopter, and today we're talking about updating the Microcopter Brushless 3 speed controllers to the latest version, which as of today it is 1.10 Charlie. So for the tools that we're gonna be using is our power supply, and I have this set to 12 volts out. Our BL boards, this is the double quad row. This is the, um, the cool version. And we're gonna need our laptop, we're gonna need MK tools, the latest version of the um, BL firmware. And also we're gonna use our MK USB. And also we have a special 10 pin that we made up. Actually, we took two pins out, so I guess it's eight pins. So the way this works is on the MK USB, pin one is right there. That will coincide with the red on the ribbon cable. So then one will be this pin right here. So we're using pins one, seven, and nine. And what I have done is I've squeezed those pins together so they make a nice good connection on the tabs on the BL boards. So on our brushless board, let's see, we have one, three, five, and seven. What we're gonna be doing is using these pads here, 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 and here. Pin one or tab one is actually on the bottom facing towards the speed controllers. So once again, this is our pin one. We're gonna put that, we'll go with number three. We're gonna put that on these tabs and squeeze it in. So you can't see it right now, but pin one is actually on the underside. And then seven and nine are actually on this side. So for the update, we're gonna be using this um, brushless controller Mega 168 version 1.10C. If you're curious, um, or if you can't find it, go to files.microcopter.de forward slash BL underscore V3. So yeah, just go to the address. Um, you'll come to, so I'm sorry, that's the address line right there. Um, we're gonna actually download this file and I've already put that in my downloads file on my copter tools. So we'll just close that. Um, I'm gonna open up our copter tools. I'm using version 2.08 D as in Delta. And we're gonna go to firmware update, update software. And like I said, I've already downloaded the brushless file and put it in, I put all my copter tools in the C drive. So copter tool version 2.0 D, there's the downloads directory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the file. And as soon as I hit open, I'm gonna turn on my power supply. So we'll hit open. We'll click on our power supply. So that shoots 12 volts to the controller board. And right now, nothing is happening. Update failed. So what I'm gonna do is go back to, well, I'm gonna turn off my controller. I'm gonna go back to these pins and I'm just gonna wiggle these around. A lot of times, they don't get a solid connection, so that's where you're gonna see that error. So we're just gonna sandwich that on a little tighter. All right, so once again, we'll start this all over again. So back to our MK tool. So update software, brushless controller three, hit open, turn on the power supply. All right, so now we have a good connection. We're seeing that it says okay. We're transmitting data and we will see that we uploaded or updated to version 1.10C and address number three. What I do with um, the addresses is I just basically take a 
pencil or pen and just I just I'll just jot down number three. So that is just a note that says I've already done three and we can move on to the other ones. So we'll turn off the power supply. Um, we'll just move over to the next one, which is BL, BL1. We're gonna squeeze this on. I'm doing this one handed, so bear with me. So that's as it sits on the tabs on number one speed controller. Once again, we will hit update software. We're going to highlight brushless controller three. Once again, hit open, turn on the power. We'll see connecting okay, transmitting data. Once it hits 100%, just verify 1.10C. And now we have updated address one. Once again, I'll just come over here. I'll just jot down that I've already done number one. And now I'll just power off my power supply. So then what I would do is do the rest of the odd BLs on the top side. And then once I finish those, I'll flip it over. So we have all the even numbers looking at us. Um, the only thing different is since it's upside down, you'll actually see pad one for pin one right in front of us. So once again, there is pin one all by itself. So we'll slide this on to the pins, just like that. And once again, looking down, you can see pin one, seven and nine, touching the pads. So once again, back to our update software, brushless controller three, hit open, turn on the power. It says okay. Transmitting data, okay, reset once again, we can verify version 1.10C and address two. So once again, I'll just go over here, just jot down two. So now that I've basically um, reminded myself, this is what I've done and I have five more to go. So, so once again, for errors, if the pins aren't on the pads nice and tight, you'll get that error um, where it won't say okay. Also, I've seen in the past where this white, um, like the BLs, the hardware version, the addresses, sometimes that'll just be like gobbledygook characters. Um, once again, take off the connectors and make sure that the pins are seated tight on those tabs. All right, this has been Jeff at Quadricopter, and we'll talk soon.